boxing is the 12 animals of the Chinese zodiac, traditional fables in Chinese and English, by Vivian League and Wang Peng, and illustrated by Yang Zi, and it's Fry Tuttle, and it's a bilingual storybook for kids. So, wow, it's definitely, I see the characters. Um, so, the 12 animals of the zodiac, um, perfect time to be reading these stories because the Chinese New or the Lunar New Year and the Chinese New Year as well is coming up in a few months. But these are kind of stories that you can enjoy year round. Um, it makes great bedtime stories because each story is sort of, a, you know, it, a, a standalone story. Um, also, if anyone's learning Mandarin, um, or Cantonese, because I think the characters are the same. Uh, you can, you know, pick up some Chinese by looking at the characters. Even if you're not learning Chinese, it's just um, a way to get exposed to other languages. Um, I studied Chinese when I was a little bit, when I was little for about a year. And so I recognize the, like, I recognize the number one, which is a single line. The box, which is mouth. Uh, that, I think, is the number nine. This, I believe, means, like, person. This might mean mountain. Can't remember. I'm actually learning Japanese using Duolingo, and so many of these characters are in both, are the same. So, you know, but I think the zodiac animals, it's just, there's just something universally appealing about the Chinese Zodiac because you learn what animal you are and then these stories give you more about the personality of the animals. But then, you know, it's like an astrological sign where each animal has characteristics. Um, so then you can, you know, that's always kind of fun. And then you can also do, you know, charts to see, okay, what kind of year are you supposed to have based on Chinese astrology or, um, you know, what's compatible in t compatibility in terms of friendships. If you know what animal you are and versus other people. Um, so they do a good job, uh, illustrating the spreads because, you know, the, the stories are, you know, chunky and then when you add the mandarin it is a fair amount of text on the page but still nicely broken up with illustrations like this is a really beautiful page um and just seems like a fun way to learn about uh chinese culture um lunar new year chinese new year um and so timely so um thank you to tuttle for sending me this book and thank you for watching